Back to our coverage of coronavirus in California, still dealing with this surge in new cases. Doctors are, of course, urging people to stay at home so they don't get infected. And Dr. Tan Duong joins us now. He's an internal medicine doctor in Sacramento. And Dr. Duong, you worked in an ICU during a surge back in April, in fact, going to Florida to help out there. What can you tell us about that experience? Uh, during that time in April, um, I was uh, in the ICU. I was actually covering for a colleague on my first day and it was a very difficult experience. We were very overwhelmed. Uh, there weren't a lot of treatments at that time. So um, we had a lot of patients unfortunately pass away. Um, things have gotten better as time has progressed. Uh, we have new treatments that do uh, help with the mortality and we have vaccinations that are coming uh, soon. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully any day now. Um, if you could talk about what it is, just, just as a doctor and you've seen these patients in, in terrible condition, what is it about COVID uh, that is different from, from what you normally see? Uh, well, the most difficult thing uh, when you're taking care of patients in the ICU is that um, uh, people that are in direct contact, like the ICU nurses, the respiratory therapists, um, us physicians, uh, when we go in the room, we have to take extra time to uh, gown and, um, you know, have our precautions so we don't infect ourselves as well. Mm. Um, we're, you know, when you're overwhelmed, uh, you're also concerned about uh, things like running low on medications like sedation for these patients, um, certain pressors, uh, uh, paralytics and those kind of things. So I guess the California state is trying to curtail this so it doesn't get to very bad levels so that um, we could uh, help prevent an overwhelming um, um, disaster in our health system. Yeah, and talk a little bit more about the patients as they come in because the people I know who are uh, friends of mine who've had it, uh, even a lighter case of it, they still can't believe what it did to them. And I would think some of the people that are wind up in the ICU cannot believe that they're in the ICU. Yeah, uh, there, you know, it, it's not just old patients. Um, younger patients come in, uh, they have something called cytokine storm, and, you know, it, it's just overwhelming, and they have to be intubated. Uh, some patients, uh, they go into a multi-system organ failure from the sequelae of uh, COVID. Uh, but things have gotten better since April. Um, uh, reviews have shown that uh, steroids have shown uh, a mortality benefit in patients with supplemental oxygen. Uh, we've used more anticoagulation for these patients. Um, and there are a lot of experimental therapies, but the big game changer soon will be uh, the vaccines just around the corner. For sure. Yeah, for sure. So just a last question because, you know, the, the stay at home order that was just triggered in this region, we've seen them in other regions, is all based on the availability of ICU beds. So if you can talk us through the difference between normal hospital beds and why these particular beds are so critical to, to be available. Uh, well, these ICU uh, beds are staffed by uh, very, very um, qualified individuals. Uh, ICU nurses, they go through a lot of training. Um, they have lower ratios on these beds. Uh, you know, ICU nurses are just taking care of two patients. Sometimes if they're very critical, just one. They're uh, able to titrate specific medications. You have lower ratios for respiratory therapists. Um, you have sp uh, very special doctors who go through a lot of training as well yeah. uh, to be able to treat these patients. Um, you know, they have special equipment like uh, patients who need ventilators, patients who need a continuous dialysis. Uh, these beds are very limited. Um, the most important thing is to be able to staff these beds. Mm -hmm. You can make more uh, bed space, but you need these uh, specialized uh, individuals to take care of these patients. Absolutely. Well, before we go quickly, doctor, just wanted to ask, how are you doing through all this? Mm -hmm. Just you personally? Uh, personally, uh, you know, after moving back to California, I'm staying with my parents, so I'm really afraid of getting them sick. I'm taking every precaution I can. Uh, we're limiting, you know, uh, our, uh, um, our celebrations to just immediate family. Yeah. We're, you know, barely going out except for work and for anything essential and I'm always wearing a mask, washing my hands, and just trying to keep my distance from as many people as I can. 
Yeah, just a really time of heightened awareness and sensitivity. And just Dr. Duong, we want to thank you so much and all of your colleagues for this work that you're doing. We know it's difficult. Yeah, I mean, thank them. They're all very hardworking people in the medical field. And, um, you know, just stay safe out there and try to prevent the numbers from going up yeah. so that you can keep them safe. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thanks, doctor.